Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back. On today's video I wanted to share with you my creative process when I don't feel inspired. So if you're wondering how that works, let's just jump right into the video. So whenever I feel uninspired or unmotivated, it's pretty easy for me to get trapped in a loop of inactivity that evolves in, in a loop of guilt. And to avoid that, um, I have learned through experience, through time, to force myself to sit and, and just sketch. And uh, most of the time, I don't use references because I feel a little restrained. And all the time something will appear on my page and it will get my attention it's not always uh, exciting it's not always interesting but definitely wakes up my curiosity and um, without even realizing I'm into it you know this lady right here I just love this pose it's very delicate I think I'm gonna work this yeah I knew I've seen this pose before somewhere. Um, I just couldn't remember it. And I was basically looking all over the internet. Um, it was here on my beloved book. As you can see guys, pretty close to the pose I drew. There are some small differences. This arm is placed behind her back, but the hand is showing. I mean, Pretty close guys as you can see here on this painting this is a painting by John August Ingress as you can see the woman on this painting it's looking to the right side over her shoulder you can barely see her face but on my sketch she is looking to the left side you can see all her face I'm not sure if that <laughs> it's actually anatomically correct I'm gonna make some some twitches here and there because I don't want to copy. I want to try to to draw what I've actually sketched. But having this as a reference, it's great. Um, so you guys, as you can see, trust your memory, trust your guts when you're drawing. Once you let go yourself, sketching it's way much easier, guys. Not all the time drawing it's fun, guys. There's times where you just have to do the thing, you know. We all went through different situations in life. Um, maybe you have good reasons to feel depressed or unmotivated, but um, as with uh, any other kind of job, you just have to wake up and force yourself to do the thing. Because there's this well-spread idea that um, with arts, you know, uh, you have to feel inspired. If you are not feeling inspired, if you are not in the zone, uh, you're actually not being creative. And um, that's very detrimental, especially when you are just starting out. And, um, uh, and sometimes you just cannot overcome things. You just have to learn to move along. Maybe you have good reasons to feel sad. Maybe you have good reasons to feel depressed. But um, some really tough times in life have teach me uh, that I should have pain, that I should have sculpt. Even if my situation was, you know, 
fucked up. I've regret so many times not have seized the opportunity. I have also regret not having push or press harder during those difficult situations. Because if I will knew that everything will have passed, I will have probably overcome my fear, my depression. I will have simply uh, enjoy or at least tried to enjoy my my art, you know. Oh guys, I have regret so many times not having done the job that by now I know. I know for sure if I'm sad, if my situation, if my surroundings are not the best or not even close to be nice, I just have to try my best to enjoy what I'm actually doing. So chosen one Sorry for the heavy breathing. As you can see the color of my shadow, it's really natural. I used to do my shadows with um, a slightly brown. It was a gray with a very 
delicate brown tone. But I really struggle when layering because with watercolors it's uh, it's just impossible to paint light over dark so uh, there was always marks underneath my skin tones so using this kind of tone will help me it already feels like I like I've painted like I've already finished the thing you know um, so as you can see if I were just sketching and not uh, I'm not doing a color study like I'm, I'm gonna do today as well it's uh, pretty much done you already have the three-dimensionality of this uh, drawing it's done As you can see very well blended for me this it's good enough guys I'm not going for a very realistic approach uh, I like uh, kind of an anime comic look so let's keep on working I'm gonna use this color I want to give to the skin a more realistic finish so I'm gonna add a little wash of green I've been wanting to to add green tones for a very long time. I do this when I'm actually painting figures, but I have never dare uh, with watercolors. When I'm painting figures, I actually use green before uh, painting the skin tone, and it works pretty nice. So yeah, I like it. Yay! Definitely. It's getting late guys, I don't know if it's, if it's a good idea to keep on working. Honestly, painting depends a lot, a lot on lighting. Underneath the Iago, okay, I'm gonna add some pink around here. Okay guys, before adding more details to the face, I need to see the contrast between the hair and the skin because I also need to work the background, so looks good. So I'm starting with the highlights. Hey 
kitty no look at her she's just trying to just no becky you know it's really cute to see bits uh, in your desk on videos you know it's super cute to watch them but mine are really naughty guys the other day actually one of my cats peed on my watercolors this baby i don't know why but she enjoys sleeping on top of my my easel and it's not even a comfortable angle where to sleep but guys she really looks like a mermaid she looks like aphrodite i am really enjoying this okay Let's make a little prayer. I think um, I'm done. It took some time doing the blending. Really well blended. I still need to work on, on her eyes, lashes, and all the tiny details, the earring as well. So yeah, I'm gonna start with that. I'm gonna give some blue touches around this area right here. The gentle touch. Gonna blend up that.
backgrounds. I, I've actually been following some lives of these two guys on TikTok and they actually open the pearls live and it's mesmerizing for me <laughs> I just love that I I watch their lives all the time but unfortunately they don't ship to South America so I won't be able to get my pearls I'm gonna draw her lashes I don't want to risk so I am going to use a watercolor pencil these are Jesus uh, Albert Albert Durer and this it's burned umber <laughs> Good morning. I thought I've already finished this piece, this painting, but I feel like I need to add more shadows, so I'm gonna work on that today. And definitely, I need more shadows. I also need to fix her backbone. This area right here is just, it's just too white. Um, uh, I've already started noticing a lot of mistakes, but still though, I am really loving this. Okay, <sighs> here we go. More brown tone, so... I like to work on thin layers, so my job is barely noticeable.
Okay guys, this has been my creative and inspired process. I have took you from the sketch to the final piece, let's say, without feeling creative, but uh, doing the job, guys. There's a lot of things I need to improve. I think that that line will never change, but um, for sure, there's been improvements, for sure. And uh, I feel like I have to confess, guys, I really struggle posing the hands and I kind of give up a little bit and as you can see I've kind of uh, hide her hand behind her hair and uh, yeah I regret that um, so I have to put more more work into hands guys for the rest I've learned so much I'm not in my best moment uh, regarding painting, but this time um, I forced myself to, to add more colors, to add more shadows, and at some point I was actually kind of enjoying it, willing to experiment and to be more creative uh, with these mediums. Yeah. Okay guys, thank you so much for making me company throughout this video. I really hope you have enjoyed this illustration, this uh, process. So if you have find it uh, and somehow helpful, don't forget to subscribe and to share it. Um, that will be of a lot of help to me. So yeah, thank you so much guys. Thank you so much once again and I hope to see you really soon in another video. So stay tuned, yeah, a lot of love, uh, a lot of blessings, and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye, have fun, guys. Bye-bye, guys, see ya. Bye-bye.